Hey, 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 hello from Edinburgh, Scotland, where I welcome you. And in this video, I'm going to share seven tips to travel with ease thanks to English. I'm Derek, your online English teacher who is Scottish. Je suis Derek, ton professeur d'anglais en ligne qui est écossais. So remember, if you are in this video, you can subscribe clicking the button over there so that you follow these uh, free courses uh, on YouTube and you can also download for free your kit to become bilingual in English. Everything is in the description, you can click, send your email, your name and everything will be sent to your email address. So tip number one to travel with ease thanks to English, remember to say hi, hello or hey, with the H, hi, hello, hey. It's a great way to start a conversation, very easy, very simple, but you often forget it. So start with saying hi, hello, or hey. Tip number two, then introduce yourself to the person by saying a question like, how are you? So that the person feels interested and then you start the conversation with her or with him and so that it becomes natural to ask further questions after this one. So hi, how are you? Question, um, tip number two. Tip number three, you could say uh, something like, I would like for food or for places. Example, I would like some sugar, I would like some coffee. And you can also say, I would like to go to the museum. I would like to go to the castle. So I would like is a very uh, interesting sentence. It's a key sentence for things you want to have, but saying I want wouldn't be really good in English. So say I would like some coffee. I would like to go to the station, to go to the post office. Tip number four, do you have a map? This question, do you have a map, is really good. A map so that you can read and then ask for directions and you can ask for free, do you have a map? Question number four. Number five, you can say something like, I am staying at, plus the name of your hotel. I'm staying at Premier Inn. I'm staying at Hilton. I'm staying at Edinburgh Station. You say the hotel or the place. I'm staying at, plus the place, plus the name. Number six. You can say something like, where is the grocery store? Where is the toilet? Where is the restroom? Or where is the post office? Where is plus the, the name you want to is really helpful to know where it is. Number seven, you can say something like, can you repeat? If you didn't understand what they told you, can you repeat? And this one is really important, saying, can you repeat? so that you are really into a conversation with a person. Can you repeat? I'm not sure to understand. That's really good. At last, don't forget the words like booking, confirmation, refund, trip, voyage, travel, and destination. Those words are key to traveling with English and they will help you in your situation. Right, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it has helped you. Um, here in Edinburgh, things are going tremendously well. The weather is lovely, 24 degrees. We had a picnic this afternoon and tonight we're having friends and family coming over. So I hope you enjoy this video. Stay tuned for the next to come in French, of course. Have a lovely afternoon. Bye bye.